What's up, beautiful people? And we had a little bit of a lion today. It would have been all right, but it was unintentional. So we're now having to swap things around a little bit in order to be able to fit everything that we want to do around Kuching in. So today, instead of going to Damai Beach, we're actually gonna to head to the Orangutan Nature Reserve. I think it's called Simenga. But first, we just need to grab a little bit of food. So we just got in a grab because of the whole waking up late thing. It meant that if we wanted to eat before going to the nature reserve for the orangutans, we couldn't get the bus because we just wouldn't have made it in time. So instead of paying, I think, like three or four ringgit each for the bus, which is nearly a pound each, we're gonna be end up paying, I think, four or five pounds total, about 24 ringgit for the taxi. Tiga Pulo. Pulo. Thirty. Three zero. <laughs> Terima kasih. Can you speak Malay? Very well, huh? Ah, uh, I'm trying. <laughs> ah, good. Slowly, slowly. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I just used the Malaysian counting that we learned over the past couple of days to get the tickets. I'm pretty impressed, and I think they were too. Terima kasih. Bye. And you can see here that they have a record of every orangutan that they have. Also it's gender, age and how often it's turned up. So some of them are like 36 times, 37 times and then quite a few of them are zero. So it'll be interesting to see who we see if we're lucky enough and some of the orangutans come down this feeding time. God. We're undercover right now. The chances to see around that when it rains like this, sometimes it's very sweet. But around that, when they shine, they will come out uh, for food when they are hunting.
Yes, I will have all of those. Thank you very much. Chima Kasi. Well, we couldn't really have asked for more than that. It was pretty crazy. Although we thought when we arrived and it started raining loads and they said they probably wouldn't come out, we thought we weren't going to see any orangutans. We were then allowed to go like round to the feeding area and then it was raining so much, like feet were getting soaked walking there. And then there were still no orangutans and they said, if you're getting the public bus, you need to leave now else you'll miss it. And we decided that we'll stay and just get a grab back. It's worth it on the off chance in case any orangutans come. And then literally five or 10 minutes after that, the orangutans came and we couldn't have asked for more. There was mothers with their children and there was this huge male, which I've never ever seen before. And this, their face is just, it's quite unbelievable seeing them like that and seeing them in like the semi wild as well. How did you find it girls? Oh my God. Amazing. Like I wanted to cry when I saw them. <laughs> They're so cute as well as I know they can be very aggressive, but those babies. It's like watching humans. And the park were really great. Like they, they let us stay for I think 15 minutes longer than it was meant to be open till. So it's pretty crazy. We were actually told that the park is only about 650 hectares and that's big enough for maybe one alpha male and then four or five females and they actually have 30 orangutans here so there's loads of them and that's why they have to feed them like supplement their diet because there's just not enough around for only there's a, there's only enough space for like a few of the orangutans that they actually have here in the center but it's been pretty amazing that we actually saw them when we thought we wouldn't and it's just such a good experience anyway we are going to head back to Kaching now and I think just chill for the rest of the day. I mean, I think we're all just going to be living on a high for a little bit after seeing not just one orangutan, but so many and that alpha male as well. Absolutely crazy. So I will finish this one up here, but thank you so much for watching. Big love. It feels good around here.